Hi guys, um, there are a few uh, tricks that I want to show you that Ally showed, also showed me uh, yesterday. Uh, you saw that game on Mr. Opportunities when <laughs> he was using like uh, overlords uh, with Brutalisk inside and the uh, symbiotes were shooting. If you didn't watch it, uh, uh, see it, it's pretty pretty cool thing. Okay, and now we have a, a trick about the Blightbringer that I didn't know. So we have a Crooked Sam over here. And uh, Crooked Sam has this ability called Demolition Charge that uh, base damage is uh, 500, but with this uh, G7 uh, charges for this gear, it increases uh, damage by 100%, so it's uh, now 1000 uh, damage. But with Lone uh, Wolf, it uh, increases even more because uh, the prestige is. Uh, when beyond the vision range of all, all other outlaws, uh, outlaws deal 30% more damage for each outlaw recruited. So uh, Tychus included, so now we have here Tychus, Sirius and uh, Crooked Sam, so there are three of them. It should be increased by 90% and you can see it clearly over here. Uh, 30 damage plus 90%, that's plus 27. Uh, here it doesn't show, but it should be 1900. Okay. So we have Blightbringer coming out, and uh, okay, um, <laughs> oh, okay, now it shows. Uh, so you can see that Blightbringer have uh, has uh, 5500 uh, 5, sorry HP. So it will take at least two charges, even uh, with uh, all outlaws out, if not three. Okay, and do the math. But definitely not uh, one charge. But Ella told me that uh, Blightbringer actually, when it burrows, it has only 1500 uh, health. But um, when it burrows, it cannot be targeted. So, uh, okay, so now the charge is applied. But uh, once charge is applied, if Blight, uh, Blightbringer burrows, uh, uh, the charge uh, stays on it. You can see that charge is on. You can see it here, this bar and here. Uh, and uh, now it doesn't show its HP, but look at this. Boom, charge explodes and Blightbringer is dead. So that's kind of trick that you can use on Blightbringer. Okay, next thing. We are on uh, Dead of Night. And uh, there is a glitch here that allows multiple Vikings to be uh, to land in a very small space. Of course, we used uh, we are on Magura's map. We used some cheats here. You see the money, and you can see that it's only one minute the game because usually it takes a lot of time to get this number of Vikings. They are not very cheap, and also on cooldown. So uh, we used some cheats. So this is just a showcase. So. Uh, Okay, this, okay, we just one didn't land, but we have seven Vikings landed in a space edge, only one square. Okay, so... Now we have uh, 40 of them over here. And... Watch this. Forty Vikings uh, land in uh, space to just two squares. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. All forty goes in. Okay, uh, yeah. <coughs> so night will come soon, and uh, okay, now it's forty-seven. Uh, I added those seven there. Okay, so 46, only one didn't, so we have 46 uh, Vikings in this uh, cage over here. And you will now see that uh, they actually, despite being so clumped up, they can shoot. They are not like Roman army at the Battle of uh, Cannae, where Hannibal trapped them so and squeeze them so much uh, they couldn't uh, even move and uh, less uh, fight 
but you see this uh, 1000 HP Kaboomer <laughs> died in a second, so yeah, this is kind of funky. Okay, this uh, will have a lot of uses, but might you might find some use for this, like if you want to keep Vikings in cage while you move, while you F2 <laughs> your other army somewhere else and you keep them a static defense or something. Yeah, might have some uses, but it's primarily like a funky <laughs> glitch over here. And he told me it's not possible to do with uh, Rain or Vikings. Okay, I believe him, I didn't, I didn't uh, try it. So, okay, that's it for uh, today. Uh, thanks, thank you for watching and thanks uh, to my ally Serdito for uh, showing me all these things because he has uh, time to I do this kind of research, so uh, he knows a lot of tricks. Okay, thanks again, watch my other videos, and of course like and subscribe if you uh, liked it. See you guys.